I was actually considering not doing anything for Easter whatsoever. But then I thought, you know, that, you know, Mary Ann would be disappointed to somebody the other day. And they were like, what? Why aren't you going to do it? Oh, no, 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 no. You have to do it. You know, so. Hey everyone, join me as I kick off my spring Easter 2024 decorating series. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to an episode of Life with Marianne and Joe. My name is Joe, if you just stumbled on me, and we do a lot of things, decorating and travel and whatnot. Try to, you know, sometimes I've been experimenting a little bit with vlogs too, so, uh, you know, you might see that. Okay, so uh, for those of you who know me, you know, uh, I talked about uh, my Easter stuff. I have a lot of Easter things and they're kinda, it's kind of like childish and I said it was crappy. Um, and I, I, it's not so much crappy, but it isn't um, to the standard that um, I think my, um, deck, my brain has got to at this point. I, I really don't like all that whimsical, that whimsy, whimsy, baby, baby kind of stuff anymore. Although I'm probably going to do the bay window very whimsical because that's, what, you know, in the outside world, that's what people expect. You know, they, they see that and they're like, oh, how cute that is, you know, uh, but I don't really want that so much in the house. So I'm going to try to, um, you know, uh, step it up a notch and uh, not have it look so okay so baby. for those of you who don't know me i try to do everything on as much of a budget as i possibly can i do not go out and buy a lot of stuff you'll not you will not see me do all these hauls and everything like that it's great for people that do it i don't do it i mean i have so much stuff that uh you know i really at this point in my life i really don't want to keep adding to it um you know i want to delete some stuff which i uh, have been doing um you know as i'm going along uh, so, um, you know, but that doesn't mean to say that if I saw something that was absolutely beautiful or something that was such, you know, a great price or something like that, that I wouldn't buy it. You know, if I was in a thrift store, if I was in another store and I saw, you know, a ceramic bunny or something that was, you know, burrs, something that was spring-like or Easter-like, Easter -like, I would really consider buying it. But most times I don't come across that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I have a very limited amount of things that, like I said, that aren't, uh, you know, so much childlike. What I'm doing is the dining room is going to center around a piece that I believe I purchased three years ago. It, it's a ceramic piece. I got it in TJ Maxx. It is a mama um, uh, bunny. And I think, if I remember correctly, has two baby bunnies with her and they're carrying umbrellas and it looks like they're going for a walk. And uh, the first year I got it, I put it on the dining room table and I hung crystals from the chandelier to make it look like it was raining on them. Now, I didn't do that last year, but I got a lot of comments kind of like, oh, why didn't you do that? So I am going to do that this year. So, um, and that is serving as my centerpiece for the entire dining room, even in color, because it's a lot of pink and blue blue. So I'm using china that's pink and blue and I'm going to be using like pink and lilac kind of tulips and things like, you know, uh, on that order. Now what I'm trying to do is something called um, whimsical elegance. Um, never heard of that before? Me either. I just made it up right now. So, uh, you know, um, it's going to be whimsy, but it's not going to be kitty whimsy. It's going to be more elegant. Um, and again, for those of you that don't know me, I, you know, like try to, um, do things on a budget, like I could go out to Hobby Lobby or Michael's or something like that and buy a spring garland, you know, for 40 or 50 bucks for a six foot piece. But I choose not to do that. I'm actually going to, going to take a cheap Christmas garland from Walmart and I'm going to turn it into a spring garland. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe. It helps me out. Thumbs up is greatly appreciated and drop me a comment. Let me know what you're doing for Easter and what you think about what I'm doing for Easter. Okay, so stay tuned, here we go. Okay, so today I'm gonna to start here in the dining room. I'm gonna do some Easter stuff. It is uh, the 22nd of February right now and it's closed. So I have to take down this winter stuff. I just have so many things going on because we got uh, you know new furniture in the family room and I, I move furniture around in the library and I move furniture around in the music room and I'm just like moving everything all over the place and I'm going a little bit crazy but I'm going to start um, and I think actually you know I wanted to do a more elegant and sophisticated look and but like I said a couple of videos back I have a lot of like first of all I have a lot of crappy stuff um, and I just really honestly I don't want to go out and spend uh, money on 
bunnies and things like that. I just don't want to because I'm not really that into that whole scene. But, um, you know, I'm going to do what I can here. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit more whimsical than I actually wanted to. I'm not going over the top, uh, but I am going to do a little bit of whimsy. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to clear out the china closet because I want to do a more pink and blue look in here. So that's the first place to start. And I have to get the branches down from up there and that pine and pine cones as well. Alrighty, so I have it cleared out and I just have to wipe it down and I'll be ready to put the china in. But before I do anything else, I still have to take that down up there. So, and here's what I took out of there. And um, actually what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put this well part, very small part of it in the glass cabinet in the kitchen, the, the, glass, the glass front door uh, area right there. So I have to empty that out to put this in, but I'm not going to show you that. All right, and I know you're here because you're curious, so this is what um, I did. Really simple arrangement in this cabinet over the sink right here. So, you know, it's very neutral looking and it goes really well with what we have going on here. Very, um, I think, classic looking. Okay, so that's that. And this is what I'm going to use in the china closet because it has the pink colors, it has like this pale blue, it has a violet, and then it has the black, and I think it'll be really nice for Easter. Okay, so I started, I wanted three on each side, so if you notice what I did was, to make it, you know, because of this design, I put the pink flower on the top of every single one. So I have the three over here, and I have the three over here, and now I'm going to work, oops, in the middle there. All right, so in the middle, I put the platter here, and then I put one there, and then I put one there. Next, I put this soup tureen. Now, this does not go with the set, but it has the same colors. It has the pink, it has the blue, and it has this yellow, which is well, there, but whatever. Um, I think it goes pretty well with that, and it, it's an eclectic look and um, not so static, as the rest of it's going to be basically the set. Next, I put two of the uh, coffee pitchers or tea, how, whatever you want to call them, there. And I put two of these large serving bowls here. Put a sugar bowl there, and notice I put the pink flower out, and a sugar bowl there, and I put the milk pitcher there. Next in, I put the coffee cups with the saucer I put here, and then I staggered it over to there and then down in there and then down here I put two more back there and then I put two in the back over there and then I put two in the back over there as well okay so now I'm ready to Easter fry it a little bit okay so next I'm going to try to show you how to make a spring garland out of Christmas garland uh, and I know I can go out and go to Hobby Lobby and buy a spring garland for 40 or 50 bucks for six feet. But you know what? I don't want to. Um, and um, I think you come here to see how I can create something more on a budget. And that's really what I'm all about. So um, I took this um, cheap Walmart garland and usually for Christmas I'll double it or I'll triple it to make it really thick but for right now if you can see I kind of I separated it into its skinny uh, little piece here because we don't want it seen we want it there to stick things into so I'm going to continue I started right there I'm going to do an asymmetrical thing started there I'm coming around and now I'm going to work over on this side so I came around here like this, right? And then I came down here like that. And then I'm dropping a piece down here. And I'm gonna put a 3M hook, hook right there, you see that? 
so that I can hold this piece of garland nice and straight along this side of the china closet. So there's where I'm at right now, like that. I think I'm going to put some uh, violet lights in there, just a hundred. All right, so there is a hundred pink lights in there, just to give like a little bit of a back glow. All right, now I'm going to un-Christmas-fy the uh, garland. So I started here in this corner, I stuck this pick in here, I kind of made a cascade down, and now I'll continue with more uh, spring look, spring-like looking um, leaves. So now we do the balancing act. I started on the right, and then I go to the left, and I'm gonna go back and forth and do that throughout. So based on what kind of picks you have is how much or how less you want to, you know, make your uh, Christmas garland into more of a, just a greenery, like a spring kind of garland. So I had this long piece right up here, and then I had, an, there's another one right there. That's the one I started with in the corner. Then I have this piece right in here, so that's three. And then I have another one right there, that's four. And then there's another one up on the top five, and then one over there, six, and one over there, seven. So right now, that's where we're at right now. Next, I'm going to work in these. I just have two of these picks, but because of that like light green color, that suggests that the leaf just opened, you know, a more springtime color where as, you know, not 100%, but a lot of times you don't see this kind of color in uh, the summer unless you have like a, you know, a... Uh, Grape, um, what do you call it? Uh, the potato vine that's uh, chartreuse, I think, that color. Uh, so I'm going to work those two in. All right, so you use your uh, same Christmas decorating skill principles. So just don't lay things, you know, incorporate them. So you see that those light green leaves, I incorporated them into that side right there. And I tried to balance it out by incorporating it in on that side. Okay, next up, something. All right, so next I'm gonna start incorporating the color, you know, the pink and the lilacs. So I'm gonna be using some tulips and I'm gonna be using these, um, these great picks here, uh, which I had gotten in the Dollar Tree a couple of years back. Uh, they're really nice and again, they have that drippy look and that I love. So I think I'm gonna incorporate these in first. Now starts my process of back and forth, back and forth, which is the same principle that I will use on a mantle. But since I'm not doing the mantles this year, I'm doing it here. You can see I put one over here and then I put one over there. So now I'll come back here and then I'll go back there and I'll just keep laying, layering them in. All right, now I have those in and I used 12 of those. Okay. Uh, next thing, I think I'm going to put in some tulips, I think. So the next thing I put in were the tulips, and I had some pink tulips and lilacs, and this is about all I have, unless I can find more upstairs, but let's talk a little bit about what the word organic means. You know, I mean, technically speaking, uh, if we could, biologically speaking, we're going to say anything that, uh, you know, has carbon as a base is uh, organic. But that's not what we mean in terms of art. When we say organic, we mean like free flowing and very uh, unencumbered and uninhibited and natural, not so rigid. So when you're placing flowers, like a lot of times I'll see on YouTube and I see when I go to people's houses, they put them in a row or they, you know, they make them stand straight up like that's not how they are. Think of how tulips are in your yard if you have tulips or if you see them in the store. They're like flopped over, they're all like all over the place. They're not standing up straight. So you wanna mimic that in your design. So organic means you wanna have it free flowing and as natural looking as possible. So, but still within a design principle. Like you see over here, I have three and we, you know, uh, odd numbers usually look better than even numbers. 
right? Then we come down on this side, you see I kind of have a mix of the darker ones, uh, the more lilac ones, and then the more pink ones. And I try to kind of, again, uh, made it, make it look as natural as I possibly can. I had two stems of these and um, I don't know if they're irises or I think that's what they're supposed to be, but uh, I mean, they're not gladiolas. They're more irisy looking. And again, it reminds me of Easter and the coloring is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to scatter these in that as well to bring more color into my design. All right, so you see how they blend in there? They don't look obnoxious. They kind of just, I think, they enhance the tulips even more. So again, organic, don't put them all in a line, up and down, hanging, you know, like they really don't care. All right, so I told you we we're gonna do a bit of whimsy and I'm doing um, elegant whimsy. I'm Well, I'm trying anyway. So I don't think that that looks too corny what I put up so far. But anyway, now I'm gonna add this up on top of the china closet. And for those of you that know me, you've seen this before. But if you just stumbled on me, this was built out of just some scrap wood. I had, you know, some wood here. And you can see I made uh, this, um, I was gonna say dollhouse, a birdhouse. And I put it up on a stand so that it is elevated. And then I hand painted this on here, these little flowers like this. I did it around the whole um, house to give it a you know, touch of whimsy. The roof I, I'm particularly proud of. This is actually just cardboard that I cut into these little shingles and then I hot glued them on here and then I just washed them. I did green and then I did beige and then I did pink and then I did brown and just to give it a, um, a shingle kind of a look. So I'm gonna put this up there on the one side to add that little touch of what I'm calling elegant whimsy. All right, so I put the uh, birdhouse up on this side of the china closet, but now I need to balance it over on that side with something. So I'm gonna have to go searching to see what I can put there that's whimsical, but not corny. And another touch of whimsy, I went out in the yard and I got some uh, branches and I just spun them into a um, bird's nest. I used some of this moss from the Dollar Tree and I have this beautiful uh, bird. He's uh, like, or she is, has a beautiful pattern um, and it's kind of like decoupaged onto something. It's, it's really, really pretty. So again, another touch of whimsy and I put that right in the center. Right, now to balance out the birdhouse on the right side, on the left side, I'm going to put these um, terracotta pots. And believe it or not, I got them in the dollar zone a few years back. I painted them this color, so they're perfect for that. And these, I'm going to use, put them on these candle holders, but I painted this part green, and then I made this part the pink to kind of look like a flower, and then that can sit right on top of that. Hopefully, I'm going to try it. All right, so I put those two there to balance the height of the uh, birdhouse on the other side, and I'm keeping them empty. Everything doesn't have to have something in it, especially if you don't want to take away from the, the main focus, which is that garland that I made. So again, I wanted the structure, I wanted the height, and I wanted the color, and I think I achieved that with those two right there. Okay, so here's the china closet for Easter, spring 24.
Thanks for stopping by, everybody. I really appreciate it. Take care, and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye.